Yes. Oh my God. Are we? What are we doing here, you guys? Holy hell. Holy hell. Oh my God. This is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's turn this on real quick. Everybody take their seats. This is, I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's set this up right now. This is, <laughs> it's about time. Can I just say that? It is about time. I've missed you guys, man. I've missed this. You know what I'm saying? I have missed this. Let me first of all say, it's been a long time, fellas. It's been too long. Three months. And the membership is back. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Billy Scott, 27 months. It's way more than that, realistically. But y'all know what's up, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! You cannot spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. And after this stream, this is just to let everybody know. This is just to let everybody know that the memberships are back, baby. After this stream is over, the next one is going to have every time when somebody subscribes, every time when somebody does anything, you're going to see a lot of things pop up on the screens. That'll happen next, uh, tomorrow, probably. Uh, everybody take their seat, man. This is crazy. Uh, the membership should be up there for you to join. You just go to the, my main page, and if you're not a member, make sure you guys do that. Oh, man, you guys, Teutonians, we're changing every the name. It was TA Army. It's being changed. Teutonia, it's coming, you guys. Everything is changing. Like I said, we were waiting to make sure we can apply all these crazy things, uh, and we just got approved again. So it feels good. Na 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 na. You can't keep TA away. <laughs> hey, hey, real, real, real talk, man. I want to give a shout out to everybody, man. Everybody, right now. Doesn't it feel good to be a Titans fan? Doesn't it feel good to be to be that that team that's like. Dang, man, we went from, we don't even know, you know what I'm saying, to a team now that everybody is sitting there really scratching their, you know what I'm saying, like, wow, could they be that, are they really, could they? I can't wait, bro. Let's say what's up to everybody, uh, and I also want to let you guys know something. I haven't even heard, I haven't even heard the media thing yet with, with Legereus Need, but we're going to react to it live together tonight. So that's what I'm talking about. A live reaction. I haven't heard anything. Not clips. Nothing. Even my mods uh, in the Discord sending the videos and stuff like that. Not watching them. I refuse to. I wanted to do a legitimate live reaction for you guys. It's going to be fun. Let's say what's up to everybody in the chat. First First of all, let's get into the poll. How good will the Titans defense be? You know, Legereus Need, Jeffrey Simmons, and, and boys. Number one, 28%. Top 5, 24%. Top 10, 24%. Top 20, 24%. So again, it's up for it's up for grabs right now. It, it just started, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Michael M. Over Chicken, tit uh, Titanus, uh, Titans, Aiden, Billy Scott. Look at the... Ah, let's go, baby. It feels good to be back, family. Ah, let's go. Come on. Oh, man, it feels good, bro. Let's go. And we're going to keep the memberships the same. Same price, $3. That's it. We're not trying to make it crazy, you guys. I mean, maybe we'll, maybe, maybe we'll raise it to $5 when we hit 15 k But not right now. We're not worried about that. We, we're worried about you guys just jo joining and becoming that family. Like last, like I said, man, we had, we had, a, we had a, around 50 members before, before it kind of got messed up. So I'm excited, bro. Make sure you guys share this out. React. This is crazy. The Tennessee Titans, you guys, are ready to compete and do work, bro. Um, Hyde, Julian, Ducky, uh, Titan Saucy. Look at look at Michael M. He says, Sneed, baby, let's go. Sneed. He's a ah, come on. Are you kidding me? How did we do that? Oh, I can't wait to listen to this. What's up, TA is the best? <laughs> he says, How you become a member? Hey, man. I wonder if, if someone could post the membership thing in there. I'm not sure. I can get it though. He says, I'm not seeing join the membership. I'll see if I can find it real quick for you guys. But uh, this is exciting as hell. This is exciting as hell, bro. Oh, my God. What's up, Keaton? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody in the building? I'm going to try to get that link for everybody. A lot of people want to rejoin who I guess aren't uh, or haven't been given that opportunity. So let me see if I can find it for you guys real quick. I want to know what everyone thinks about 
everything that's happened so far. Look at K. Will still got his membership up. That's so cool. We're gonna get the uh, a brand new. I'm telling you everything, bro. I said congratulations. Yes, we we already know that, big dog. We already know that. <laughs> that's so funny. I appreciate all of you guys, man, for real. Okay, there it goes. Now it should be it should be up now, you guys. Let me know. Let me know. We got super chat up, super stickers, super thanks, super chat. Let me know if you guys see it down there now. We're trying to get it back up for you guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. It said it should be up right now, though. Now uh, let's check the memberships out real quick. All right. I know that's so crazy that they took that shit away. Isn't that stupid? Levels, perks, resources. Where is it at, fellas? Where can I send it to you guys at? That's crazy. Let me see. There it goes. Copy it. All right, you guys. Let's see if this works for you guys. Let's see if this works for you guys. He said, bro, I'm dying, bro. My cough is so bad. And Liam, Liam, hang in there, big dog. Hang in there. Let me know if that works, you guys. Let me know if that works. Let me know if that works. We're going to get into it. We're letting everybody kind of take their seat. We just started. We haven't even been, we haven't even been, what, five, six minutes? You know what I mean? Yeah, let me know if, if the super chat and everything's up there. Is it all up there that you guys can see now? Can you guys all see it and stuff? What do you guys, you guys let me know. Let me click on this real quick. It takes me to the membership, I believe. Yeah, so let me know if that link worked. Did it work, work you guys? It took me straight to there. All the colors are still up there. You got that two-tone at the end, the black at, the, oh my God, it's dope. So let me know, did it work, you guys? Let me know if it worked, fellas. Let me know if it works so we can, so we can kind of continue because I don't really want to be doing this the whole time. You don't know if it, you feel me? Yeah, buddy. Guys, man. Let me get this ready. Hold on. There we go. Uh, Titan Saucy says, yes, sir, TA. Want that shit back. It's back up, man. I sent out the link. Let me know if you guys click that link. Let me know if it works, fellas. Hit, hit that link. Hit that link. Join, 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 the join, join, join. Not is uh, First of all, of course, the Discord. Join the Discord. But join the channel memberships for sure, man. It's just way better. You'll get to you. You'll get everything that comes along with it. And and we're fully on board with it now. We got the whole Discord. We got it all. Twenty four seven Tennessee Titans content. You guys. Here we go. We got Billy Scott in the building. Let's go. Appreciate you, Billy. We got a five dollar donation from Billy. Uh, that's that's dope as fuck. Appreciate you, Billy. What do you, did did you say anything? Yeah, you didn't say anything. You just sent it. So it does work. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I've missed this. All right, let me take that shit off real quick. You know what I'm... Um, yeah, Cables is up. That's good. He was a former uh, mod already, though, so that's what's up. And that's cool. It shows the money donated at the top. I'm going to make you guys a deal, too, you guys. Every time we go live, every time we go live, I'm just gonna I'm just going to put this out there. Uh, if there's ever $200 donated in one day, very rarely has that ever, it's probably happened two or three times in my whole career. If that ever happens, we're going to donate a jersey every single time that happens, that we reach 200 in one night. Uh, if we reach 100 in one night, uh, we may have to donate something else. We're going to think about it. We're definitely going to think about it. So, we're, we're again, I want to make this just the place to be, entertaining-wise and everything. And it looks, it looks good to see things are back up, right? And again, next time, next time you guys donate and send stuff, next time there's a member, there's a super chat, there's anything, you're going to see something pop up. Tennessee Titans, I'm not going to spoil it, but trust me, it's coming. I appreciate you, Michael. He said Sneed for the five months. That's dope, bro. Uh, Andre Carter, welcome to the TA Army. Again, it's uh, welcome to, uh, you know, to Teutonia. It's going to be Teutonia or Teutonia. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But um, yeah, the memberships are all back, you guys. I'm, I'm very happy about that. I appreciate everybody for 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 hanging out and hanging in there, man. It's crazy. The the three months that that we we took a hiatus, we actually improved the channel in every which every way possible. Uh, so it was a blessing in disguise. It really was. Thank you so much. Titanus is back. He, he, yeah, buddy. Five dollar dono from Titanus. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, he said, "Let's celebrate their first on a on a on a stream." That's crazy. <laughs> Titan Saucy, welcome, buddy. I appreciate you. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna be posting channel memberships throughout the uh, throughout the throughout the uh, the night, so everyone can kind of get in on it. Uh, let's get into the comments real quick, and then we're gonna play. We're gonna play the audio of the uh, 
of, of the media. I, I haven't heard it yet. I haven't heard it at all. I want to know what you guys are thinking about it. You guys can spoil it if you want. I don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to it and react to it live, you guys, live. It's a two-hour show tonight, bro. The memberships are back, man. Nate says you like the Titans. Shut up. You shut up, Nate. You shut up, Frag. Go over there and give you a super kick. Shawn Michaels style, 97, through the, through the fucking TV. Right in your big-ass head, bro. <laughs> Dude's wild, man. Everybody hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Get it all going, fellas. Get it all going. It's possible we could hit 14,500 today. It's very possible. Will we? I don't know, but we're going to try our best, man. We're going to try our best. Feels good to have the, the memberships back up, though. It really does. I'm very happy and, and pleased with that. I really am. So shout out to everybody, man. Uh, you know how we get started. We always do the same thing when we get started. Who's your favorite team? Put it in all caps and spam that shit in the chat. Let's go, fellas. Let's get this shit started. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's have some fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Tennessee Titans are back. Defensively ready to go. Oh my god, I just cannot wait to see what we do. I cannot wait to see what we do. Shout out to all the members, everybody in the building holding it down. You guys are killing it tonight, y'all. You guys are killing it already, bro. Hell yeah. Oh man, Carlos says hello from Memphis. Tighten up. Tighten up, everybody. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Remember, the memberships is back, baby. Let's go. We've been waiting for this, man. We've been waiting for the memberships to come back. New emojis gonna, gonna come out as soon as tomorrow. M mods, we'll be talking about that after this is done, bro. Uh, Liam says, I'm back, bro, but I got pneumonia. I was in the hospital. That, hey, man, that's crazy, bro. You gotta get better. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself, big dog. Yeah, we're just trying to get down there real quick. Did you not see how they did? <laughs> Dude, there's so many people, bro. Uh, hey, T.A., boring buck from the radio is on competing with you, L.O. Dude, there is no competing. That guy's boring as shit. I mean, get, I mean, if you want to take a nap, put that on. I promise you. He's like watching uh, He's like watching Mean Girls, and I'm like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know what I mean? The remake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. Maverick says, I believe the Titans will be uh, between top 15 to top 20 range and wins. You still have three to four years. Yeah, you don't know a damn thing, Maverick, about football. Get out of here, Logan Prime. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's hilarious, bro. Did that, some of y'all, some of y'all just cracked me the fuck up. Seriously. Seriously. Y'all are wild as hell. And more Eagles fans. I noticed y'all love coming by because y'all ain't got nothing else to be happy about. Tighten up says T. I just got news. I'm going to the Titans draft party. That's crazy, bro. Have fun. Have fun. Take pictures. Get it going. Um, TA is the best. Says I still don't know how to become a member. Please help. Click the link that I've been posting in the chat for all the people I'm trying to get get to the top of uh, and make sure everybody's kind of caught up. I want to get everybody get everybody involved, you guys. I want to get everybody involved, so we'll get it going. We'll get it going. Chat's looking on fire tonight. What are you guys thinking? Chat's on fire tonight. We haven't even started the video yet. We're gonna start the video at the 20 minute mark. So continue to take your seats. We still have six minutes to go. Six minutes to go. I love it, man. It's good to see all the emojis and and loyalty badges and everything like that. Uh, don't worry, we got something special popping up for you guys. We're, uh, th that logo is going to be gone. Everything's changing, you guys. Um, new, new, uh, new badges, new emojis, new everything, man. So I can't wait. I can't wait for. To, like I said, we were just waiting for this thing to be approved, and we're ready to go, man. We off and running. Two hour shows every single night, like we've been doing all the way up until uh, week one kickoff. We're going to see if we can get as close to that twenty k mark as possible. Uh, Mike Cole says, best offseason I've been a part of. I'm hyped. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Cheers, Liam. Get better, bro. Get better, bro. It's crazy. All right, so let's see where everyone, uh, everyone's team is. Liam says Chiefs. Julian says Titans. Keaton says Titans. TA is the best, says Vikings. I don't know. God damn it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense, bro. How much? How, all right, we got 10. That should be fine. Yeah, I don't know how that makes sense, though. I'm going to keep it 100. I really don't know how that makes sense at all. Uh, that That's interesting in its own right. Um, let's go. Because, uh, like I said, you got a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, he says Philly, Vi Vikings, Titans, 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 Philly, Titans, Tennessee, Titans. Let's go. Uh, Titans, tighten up, baby. Everyone in the building, Titans. I feel it, you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
everybody tightens. That's that's a, that's what I like to see, man. I like to see that. I like to see everybody tightens. Everybody knows Titans are the team around here, baby. Yes, sir. Everybody in the building, man. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody, I love it, man. Uh, Charlotte says, hey, I love your vids. Can I please get a shout out? Hey, we just gave you your shout out. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We also have Cash App for the people that don't want to use Super Chat. We have Cash App, Money Sign, Titan Anderson. Yes, sir, man. Uh, Nate says, TA, name the last time y'all won a Super Bowl. Hey, Nate. Name the last time you went outside and did anything productive in your life. That's what I thought. Counting snails doesn't count. Like, not at all. Not at all, bro. I love it, bro. <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. All these haters are so bad because the Titans are only getting better and better. Oh, my God. Can we talk about that? The Tennessee Titans, you guys, Sneed, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to listen to this shit. I can't wait to listen to this, bro. Oh, man, it's going to be a good one. Everybody, all Titans fans messaging me all day while I was at work. You going live? You going live? I was like, yeah, man, I'm going. I promise you I am. Just got to get off work. You know what I mean? Got to get off work. We're going to talk NFL draft as well, you guys, but we're going to listen to this first. I'm just trying to get, catch up on the uh, the comments. Yep, I appreciate all you guys. <laughs> Michael and Michael's that guy, though. I appreciate you, Michael. All right, let's get to this. Let's get to the... Uh, let's get this. Let's listen, bro. Let's let, Let's check this shit out. All right, man, I'm excited. Are you guys excited for this season? The Tennessee Titans have a legitimate baller, bro. This is crazy. All right, let's hear what dude has to say. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to try to find a, a good thing for us to listen to. Rand Carthon, you are a genius, bro. Rand Carthon is a damn genius. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you for being here, Legereus. Seriously, thank you so much, man. I'm trying to get to the... Uh, um, okay, th I see how the Titans did it. Yeah, let's talk, let, let's see what... Uh, yeah, that, that, that's a short version. Where's the long version, bro? Like, what the fuck? I want to listen to the long version. All right, we'll just go to... We'll, go to, fuck it, we'll, go to, we'll find it on YouTube. They want to play those games. We'll, we'll, we'll work around it. It's all good. We'll work around it. Legereus Sneed, let's go. Can you guys believe? Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, this is completely crazy. All right, let's get this going. Hold on, y'all. Let's find it. Where's that link at? Let me, let me, let me get it over here. Let me, let me. My, my, my guys at the Discord are just ridiculous, bro. So they go, I can guarantee you, they, they know, they got it going. All right, let's get it over here real quick, and then we're going to play it. I don't know if this is the right one. Yeah, I don't know where you got that shit from, bro, but. All right, we're going to go through it right here. We're going to go through it right here. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. We're going to we're just going to play it and listen to it and just enjoy each other's company, you guys. Legereus Snee talking to the media. Oh, man, if you're not a Titans fan, I recommend you crying. It's all good. Titan South, welcome back, bro. Let's go, bro. Everybody, I recommend. I'm gonna post the uh I'm gonna post the thing in the chat again for anybody that wants to become a channel member. It's cheaper than a Starbucks cup of coffee, fellas. Let's get it popping. Come on, y'all. Let's get it going. Let's listen to what Legeria Sneeds got to say to the media. Let me know if you guys can hear it. All right. To this franchise and what what makes this what why do you think this is gonna be a great fit for you? Oh man, you know, just say God. Honestly, I love everything in God's hand, you know, doing the whole entire the situation. Can y'all hear it? On, you know, I just stay prayed up and just let God do his work. How did you get the news officially that the trade kind of was going through? And what was your reaction? Uh, it was, it was kind of nerve wracking. I can That's say. crazy. Uh, because uh, me and my agent, it was, it was a whole lot of back and forth. And you know, my agent was telling me to be calm and just let everything, you know, come out. Then I say like, good, good, good. Monday, We're going to go over it. We're going to go over it. Realize, you know, Hit that like button and subscribe, fellas. Twenty-two million is what you guys were after. You settled at nineteen. Like, the is that report true? And then how did you get to the nineteen? How did that process? I mean, I just feel like I deserve to be you know to be the highest paid off of my season that I had last year. Ooh. And, you know, that's why I want to shoot that number up there, and I feel that I deserved it. But you know, things worked out to, to for me and for my family and yep. for the organization. Hell yeah, Tennessee Titans. Okay, so they're they're he's sitting there asking him about about the the 22 million you know asking for 22 million he's sitting there like 
he's like, well, like, look at the season I just had. You think I don't deserve it type shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I was arguably the best corner, you know, and just won another Super Bowl, like, and was a big part of us winning that Super Bowl. Like, it's crazy. And he's like, you know, settle for 19, but, you know, Everybody knows you aim high. He he says he deserves to be the highest paid corner in the league. And, and does he deserve to be the highest paid corner in the league? That's debatable. But I'll tell you what, he's proved that he deserves a contract that high, whether it's number one, two, three, four, five, doesn't matter. He's a top five corner in this league. All, based off of last year, you can't tell me he's not. You cannot tell me he's not. So again, I think it all worked out for the best. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys are feeling about Legereus Sneed. Do you guys think the Titans gave up too much for him, paid too much? You guys let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Conversation with Rand, you know. Conversation with Rand. great. I feel the connection already. I feel like family. Hell yeah. You know, he's making me feel comfortable already. You know, in this facility, and it's my first time meeting him. Rand, that fucking wizard. He said, "I feel like family, man." Once he talked to Rand, I'm telling you, Rand is a fucking. He's a wizard, bro. He's a whisper wizard, bro. He goes in there, he says two words, and you sign up in two-tone blue with a two-tone blue pen. Are you kidding me? It's crazy. Everybody seems to just talk with Rand Carthon, and when they talk to him, it's like they get, they get, like, like I don't know what it is, bro. It's like the Edward Nigma Batman, the, the Riddler fucking creation, sucking everyone's minds into mind control shit. It's crazy. I'm sitting here like, everybody has that same story bro everybody has that same story basically about how they talk to Rand Carthon and Rand Carthon has done bro fucking come on I can't wait man I'm gonna fuck some people up in Madden as well bro Chidobi yeah, I, I can say uh you know we're gonna have something very special you know everybody's new preach it to here and then you know we got enough time to build you know to see what we have they asked him about Chidobi and, you know, some of the guys over there. Chidobi Awuzie, a.k.a. Cheeto, who is another number one corner. Titans have two number one corners. Um, and, and because we signed Legereus Sneed, Cheeto is so overlooked. Like, they, they, it, it's crazy. It's weird, to be honest. But um, it's okay. And he even says we're going to have a really good unit. It's going to be hard, bro. It's going to be really hard to uh, throw the ball on them. Uh, Roger McCreary, respectfully, will hold down the inside and... You know, uh, we'll see what happens. It's <laughs> how the hell did Rand Carthon pull this off, bro? Oh man! Oh, definitely. Each year, what's man, up? You know, what's up, everybody? Back and I watch my film. Whatever. Make I sure you hey, hit that like time button, time subscribe, time fellas. Let's go. Join that time. membership. Oh man, I want to follow the no more guys. Oh, the best guys on the field. That's what I want to do. You know, each year I try to make new challenges, challenge myself. You were coming from a situation. He said, I wanted to follow everybody's best player. That That's the, that's what I wanted to do. And that's why I was as good as I was. He wants that. And think about, think about this. You're going to have Legereus Sneed and Cheeto and Roger McCreary going up against, as of right now, DeAndre Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, and, and, and Traylon Burks. They're going to make each other that much better in practice. This is going to be great, bro. This is crazy, man. Secondary is going to be lethal. Top, top tier facts. How do you feel like you can bring something Let's get those likes and, and subscribers up. You know, just bring what I learned, you know, what the coaches over there installed in me and bring it here. Hey, I think we're going to be okay. Obviously, I'll see you play. What, what would you say you bring to the field? Hell yeah. Bring to the, maybe team, bring to the. Oh, man. Confidence, you know, resiliency, relentless. I'm a Hell yeah. player, you know, I love my game, you know, I, I don't fear anything, I'm not afraid to lose, but I'm going to win most of my reps. Hell yeah. When you see your leadership, this is a cornerback's room, a DB's room that has been young. He said, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, baby. Oh man, you know, coming from, you know, other teams. What's up, Derek? My last team, I see you, bro. Guys I play with who installed in me, you know, I'm still learning myself, you know, I would never stop learning. And still growing and still learning. Yeah, that's too the guys clean, installed in me what they told me. That's too clean. I'm trying to install in these guys and bring you here, you know, what I know and what they know and put it together. Let's so, go, Snee! Hey, who getting a Snee jersey? Keep it a band. Smartest he's ever worked with. 
how important is that? Not just the skill part, but but the you know the That's smarts crazy. in terms of that uh, position. Yeah, I can say uh, you know, I know what it took. You know, it's it's not only in the in the building. You know, we took time out of the building coming it's together. You know as in praying or coming together as one, as a whole. And that's what I'm trying to bring here, just try to pull us together. And I think when we together as a whole, we can play good. Do you hear this guy? Like how are, oh my God, the Colts must be shitting themselves no diaper right now, knowing that they thought that they had Sneed wrapped up, already getting ready to put that stupid happy horse jersey and logo on his helmet. Like what? He said, er, you got curved, bitch. I hit y'all with a fucking two-tone samurai sword. Yes! I love this, man. I love this so much. This is awesome. Um, you hear how he says he wants to bring everybody together. We're better as a, as a unit. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. But, you know, together, you're better than, than, than you know, separate. Have you ever seen, basically, team chemistry is what he's mentioning. Uh, when, when your team chemistry is working together and, and, and you don't give a damn who's getting interceptions, you don't care about the stats, you just care about one thing, winning, it makes life that much easier. The stats will show up after that. It'll, it'll all come. We've got the right guy leading the secondary, and Cheeto's going to be right by his side holding it down. Roger McCreary's... Does Roger McCreary benefit the most from this pickup? Like, literally, from this offseason, does Roger McCreary's stock just go up? Like, he should have a great year, bro. He's been, like, the only stability in the secondary for us, pretty much. Like, let's keep it a band, like, for real. And now he's going to have two legitimate, legitimate corners on the outside. Oh, my God. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. You, you know, traveling with receivers, that's something you specialize in. Mm -hmm. I know you went to Spagnuolo and said that's something you wanted to do before the season. Why is it that that's something you take so personally? Oh, man, you know, I, if I can eliminate one guy, you know, their best player on the field, it help everybody else around us. Yes, you know, sir. Guys on the D -line, Preach. You know, you get to the quarterback Let's get that likes up, guys. Let's get it up over 50. Let's go. We're almost at the 30-minute mark. We've got a two-hour show. That allows you to do that so effectively. Like, not a lot of guys can go left, right. Look at Teron Davenport. Right. Get him, right. TD. You know, it's, it's all just a mindset, really. You know, you have it in your mind, you can do okay. anything you put your mind to. Sorry. Okay, so he's talking, TD, shout out to TD, man, asking the, the, the tough, good question. You know, he's asking him about, like, covering, you know, following the guy, shadowing and stuff, what it means, and you know what I mean? And he's basically telling TD, you know, when, when you can take out one of, you know, the best player, on you know, re weapon receiver-wise, you know, that's catching the football specifically, it makes it that much easier to control the offense to kind of, figure out what they're going to do, knowing that that player is locked down. Legereus Sneed is going to be a two-tone mirror. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're a little Tyreek Hill. It doesn't matter if you're a tall ass. I, you could be Mike Evans. I don't give a damn. Legereus Sneed's going to follow you. He's going to blanket you, and he's going to put the seatbelt on and lock you down. I love it, bro. I love it. I love it, bro. This is crazy, bro. Oh, hopefully. Whatever like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Let's go. Live streaming every single day. Give it my best. How much of an edge do you think that gives a defense if a guy is doing that? Oh, man, it gives a defense. Crazy. Appreciate all the subscribers coming in right now. I see you guys. Don't think I don't. I see you guys. things that they don't do. No, let's mess it up. Oh, he's talking. Oh, he's gonna talk about Calvin Ridley. Mm -hmm. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, man. I can't wait to get to work with Calvin, man. You know, we had really <laughs> going the, the game. Calvin Ridley, receiver. You know, I don't think nobody else run routes like that guy. Ah, that's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying. Everybody around the league, whether you like Calvin Ridley or not, they'll all tell you the same thing. If 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 you don't have him in your your mount route mount route running uh mount mount route running more <laughs> like you know what I'm saying if he's not in your your top four for route runners in the league then you're not watching football or you're a fucking hater that's it seriously Calvin Ridley will turn you into a monopoly like are you kidding me you cannot pass go he's gonna run right by go like see you later bitch I can't wait bro I can't wait and Legarius Sneed is gonna make him that much better are you kidding me are you kidding me. Come on, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. Channel memberships link is being posted every time I hit that link. Hit check it out, y'all. 
Uh, I can say uh, Coach Reed, he was testing me all throughout the week. I think he was just trying to get me fired up. You know, he I was love sent me it. all of the mess that was talking, everything that was saying about me. You know, I use that as motivation. <laughs> you know, I don't be on the media looking. Bro, at I'm, hey, I'm me. thinking about getting me a sneed, bro. I'm, I don't think I don't, think, I don't know if I will, bro. Fired up, you know, I was taking it to the heart. You know, guys on this team, and have you gotten a scouting report about Nashville and, and the fights from anybody? Uh, no, sir, I haven't. You know anybody on this team? Jim uh, White. I know a couple guys. I know Jeff. I know, I know Jeff. Uh, Cheeto. Cheeto. Oh, he said, "Who are you looking for in practice uh, first, Calvin, Calvin or D Hop?" Up in front of me, they, they, this is gonna get the work. You see, hey, he even told. Oh, <laughs> Look at that smile on his face. That's my guy, man. Sneed, I love this guy, man. Are you kidding me? Hey, pause. But hey, this guy is crazy. He is so confident, bro. He, they said, "Hey, hey, who are you gonna guard though, Ridley? Or are you gonna guard D Hop?" And he's like, "Hey, you know what? They're both good. Is that like they're both good, man? Whoever wants to line up in front of me can get the work. Let's go! Come on, let's go! Don't fucking mistake his confidence, his cockiness. It's all going together and win big ball of two tone blue. This guy's gonna dominate." He's going to shut everybody down going up against him. Oh, my God, dude. That answer was great. Oh, my God. He said, and he won't go line. It don't matter. Who, it don't matter. Whoever it is lining up can get the work, bro. They're both good as hell because he knows there's two number one receivers on the Titans. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it, bro. Wear that suit in Kansas City and tell, tell us a little bit about the colors. And how you <laughs> yeah, man. No, I can't wear this at Kansas City. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I had to step out, you know, a little bit, a little bit harder than what I usually do. Going from Coach Merritt to, to here, you know. This is with, nuts, bro. Get that like button flowing, Steve fellas. Jackson, uh, Chris Harris. What do you know about those guys? And just, if you've talked with Wilson already, how do you like the energy that he has? Oh, man, I love, I love the energy. He seems like he's my he's type He's talking about Wilson right now, the coach. Uh, being aggressive. You know, being aggressive. Like uh, he's going to allow, guys, he's gonna allow him to play man. Guys, he's going to allow him and Cheeto to both go and do what they do best, and that's not play off like a fucking weenie, Christian Fulton. Christian Fulton, you are a coward. You are a cookie. You are a piece of... Oh, yeah, just like I told Spaz, you know, just throw me on the field. You know, just like he did, he threw me a nickel out of nowhere mid-season, and I didn't know anything about it. And, you know, I just executed it and played my best. That's crazy, bro. This guy is nuts, bro. What's up, Travis? How you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome. Yes, uh, I say uh, the confidence built over the years. We got 30 likes, fellas. Let's go. Get that like button up. Let's get it as close to 100 before we're done. Half hour through the live right now. We're going to the two-hour mark. I stayed down and kept working. Hell yeah. Maybe a receiver you covered where you kind of felt like Hey, man, this guy is crazy, bro. Like, everything that he's saying is, like, every it's perfect. The Tennessee Titans literally got a guy that's just... I can't wait to watch him and Cheeto with Jeff, Big Jeff down there and then everyone else we're going to pl still plug in. Dude, are you kidding me? This is crazy to me. You yourself, but, yes, sir. Hit that like button, fellas. Let's uh, go. Yes, Devontae Adams. When I first landed up against him, he was at Green Bay. Was that rookie year or was that second year? That was second year. Second year? Yeah. Now that you've gotten paid, where does the chip come from for you? Uh, the money don't change anything. You know, I love this game for the game. The money just for my family, you know, to get them right. Taking the pressure off my shoulders, you know. Now I can do what I love and play ball. He said the money ain't gonna change a thing, man. It's gonna help take some pressure off my shoulders. No, my family's gonna be okay. But it's not gonna change the way that I, I play this game, how I love it now. Come on, bro. How, come on, bro. He's already becoming a TA fan. Like, remember I told you when Derrick Henry left, everybody keeps asking me, who's your favorite player, TA? I said, let it happen naturally. This guy is moving up the TA ladder. I, I told you guys, when I say it's gonna happen naturally, it'll probably happen during the game. I'm like, that's my favorite player. You know what I'm saying? He's moving up, bro. How, how the hell do you not like what he's saying? Like, seriously. He fits everything you could possibly want in a football player. This is, um, this is crazy. This is fucking crazy, bro. Straight up, bro. Let's get to the comments real quick. I want to say what's up to everybody. Uh, still, I don't want to get too far behind on the comments, man. Shout out to everybody. We got a new member. Who's, who's back? Titan Kong in the building. <laughs> Welcome back, big dog. Welcome back. Welcome back, Titan Kong. I appreciate you, my guy. Vanessa's appreciate you, got appreciate you, bro. Ty J Spears is somebody that could that could creep up as well as as, as all my favorites, man. 
Anthony says, calm down, Junior. Titans are not that good. How about you calm down, little man, and pay attention. When the Titans are done whooping everyone's ass this year, you're going to see. You're going to see what's up. I know a lot of people that say the Titans suck refuse to say who they like, right? It's kind of funny how that works. It's kind of funny how that works, but it is what it is. <laughs> he said, who do you like? And he refuses to answer. He says, not hating, bro, but those glasses you got looking like Riff Raff. I mean, Riff Raff, I don't think, has ever worn Kato's. These are, are were worn by, like, Patrick Mahomes, Justin, uh, Justin Jefferson, um, Jamar Chase. Like, uh, I think Derrick Henry's worn them before. Uh, there's been a lot of players like that who have worn these glasses, the Kato's and the Kato X's. So, I, I mean, you can, you can, so what, are they Riff Raff too? Are they Riff Raff too? Or are you just a, a knucklehead who wishes he had my Kato's instead of his $2 gas station glasses? You tell me. You tell me. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Zach says, Titans have a good possibility to make some things happen this season. Of course. Of course. That's a fact. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Whether they want to admit it or not is up to them. That's up to them. It's crazy, man. What a, what a, like, it, it, it's wild, man. Uh, that cool guy, Jay, says, I'm for sure getting a Sneed jersey. He's just, it's crazy, bro. He's doing, he, he's, show, he's showing up. Sportstacular says, T.A. Sneed got that dog in him. So does Cheeto. That's what's crazy is we got two dogs on the outside, bro. We got a, a Doverman and a, and a Rottweiler, bro. Like, on, on, you know what I'm saying? On each side, man, I can't wait, man. Two arguably of the most vicious dogs, man. Or give them a, or pop in a German Shepherd name or um or a Malamue or, or, or something just like, you know what I'm saying? We got two dogs that are out there going to be biting, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. Yeah, Sneed, Sneed going to be a lot of fun to watch, fellas. Sneed's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I can't wait to see him, you know, throw the first little-ass receiver down. You know those little-ass receivers trying to run those four twos and four threes, weighing 150 pounds in their underwear. Sneed's going to grab them like the Hulk and give them a pop-up power bomb like Kevin Owens. Like, let's keep it 100. This is going to be silly. This is going to be silly. Cheeto! Uh, he, he said, Buck thrives off of Titans not succeeding. That's what Jody says. Yeah, Buck Buck doesn't even believe that Will Levis is the guy. Fucking hater. Will Levis may not be the guy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Fucking goof. Uh, I'm a Gabe says, do you think Mason Rudolph will be any good? I don't know, bro. I, I know he can take a hit, though. I know he can take a helmet to the head. Uh, Lateral Crew says, I didn't realize Sneed was such a likable guy as well as being an absolute dog. Bro, I'm telling you. It's like the perfect, like, and we're not even done. We still, like, we're only seven minutes in on that video. It's just we keep stopping it and reacting to it. I've never heard this. I haven't heard this. This is the first time. I wanted to do this live with you guys. I waited. I was like, I'm not going to, like, put out some video of me at work. Fuck that. You guys deserve, I'll, I'll just wait. I'll just wait and, and put out something that's worth, you know, just worth waiting for. So hopefully you guys like it, man. Hopefully you guys like it and everything like that. Shout out to all the new members. Who was that new one? Was it Hyde? I think it was Hyde. Hyde, I appreciate you, man. All these new members, man. Look at that Titan Kong donation. $2. Appreciate you, man. TA, my tribal Teutonian. Let's smash the let's smash the hater. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you guys. Travis says, had I stumbled upon your stream, long time suffering Oilers fan, but things will change very soon. I could feel it. This is our turn. This is our era. It's time for the Titans to get back on the saddle. You know what I'm saying? Like an old Western movie. And we get out there with Will Levis and that quick-ass release and that rocket fucking launcher arm. Let's go win some football games, fellas. Appreciate you, Titan Kong. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the dono. Uh, and Travis, thanks for the... I appreciate you for, for, for uh, finding the channel, bro. <laughs> appreciate you. Um, I'm a Gabe says who will be starting linebacker without Al Shair? Well, you got Kenneth Murray Jr. Starting he'll be starting for sure. Uh, that's already been confirmed uh, And I think maybe we'll address the second one in the draft possibly uh, Or maybe still get one. I, I don't I'm not sure. I think Kenneth Murray's the only pencil in as of right now Appreciate it man. Hell yeah um, Let's see Cyrus says, we got the perfect counterpunch for the AFC South. If we mess around and get Justin Simmons on a cheap deal, watch out. I'm telling that would be a perfect-ass move for us. We're, re we're ready to really compete right now. Like, every everyone can believe us or not. Um, we really are. We, we're re and, and people will see that as we start racking up wins. That's going to happen. Um, so just sit back and enjoy. Just, that's all I can say. Just sit back and enjoy. It's going to be a very good season. Um. 
but Justin Simmons would fit in perfect back there. Him and uh, him and Amani Hooker could could hold it down in the safety position and do very well. I really feel like that. Uh, and then Elijah Molden can can be a uh, can, can be a uh, um, a floater, if you will. It, yeah, that makes perfect perfect sense to me. Uh, Jody says, all we need to do is spam the fuck out of A to Z in 104.5 and get rid of Buck and hire the real Titans fans. Oh, man. No, what we got to do is just just uh, treat them like Skip Bayless. Look how shitty-ass Skip Bayless's views are getting, right? It ain't doing nothing. Real will find real. Real will find real. Trust me. Trust me. Like I said, three years from now, I've said this before when Buck mentioned my name, three years from now, Let's compare where my subscribers are and his subscribers. And let's see. Let's see where he's at. And let's see where I am. And let's see who wins and loses. I'm not going anywhere, though. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I may not do 45 hours a day of con boring-ass Snoozeville content, but it's all right. I'm going to give you guys good shit. I promise you that much. Titan Kong in the building. I know everybody's excited about this season, bro. Everybody's excited. Let's get back to the comments or to the. the Kansas City, uh, here we go. I'm so happy, and fellas. Oh, definitely, man. Just how you know God used me in Kansas City. I'm gonna make sure you know He used me here. Yes, you know, sir. You know, give it Talk back to, to the him. Community. Whatever I can do, you know, whatever God has planned for me in my life in Tennessee, that's what I'm bringing here. The situation with the knees, I mean, you played plenty of snaps. Ooh, they're talking about his knees right here, but fellas. How did you manage it last here year? Here we go. And how do you look to manage that going forward? Oh, man, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with my knee. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I played the whole season. Ain't nothing wrong with my knee. Years before that, I played as well. You know, I had a couple of problems. You know, I had banged up knee before, but I'm good right now. Nothing is really wrong with my knee. So it's not a situation that you have to manage going forward. No, I know what to do with my knees. You know, I'm coming out here to play ball. Yeah, he said, stop worrying about my knees, y'all. I'm good to go. I'm ready to play some ball. I'm good to go. I'm ready to play some ball. You, This is crazy, bro. I'm so ready for this guy to take the field in two-tone blue. Man. Oh, definitely. I love going against those big guys. You know, they can't, you know, get low as I get. He's, <laughs> he said, hell yeah, I like to play against the big guys because they can't get as low as I can get. Basically, he's saying they slow as hell and can't move back and forth fast like little ass Tyreek Hill. So the little guys, he's just going to pop up powerbomb like Kevin Owens and shove them into the floor like Yokozuna. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting up. And then uh, <laughs> and then the, the big guys, he's too fast for and, and too crafty and smart. So pick your poison. This guy can cover anybody. He already He's been proving it. What knee issue? What are you talking about? Go watch the film. Here's the aggressiveness that, that you NFL have. says growing up, I was a huge warm move fan. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Would I be interested in signing Marcus May? I'm not sure. It's better than what we got going on right now, though. Where does that come from, or who are maybe your biggest influences in, in your style of play? Uh, Ooh. I actually don't know where it came from. Uh, they say where do you get his style of play guy. from, basically, his influences. But the last two years, I made up my mind that I'm going to put hands on guys. No, I he said, the last two years, I made up my mind. I'm going to put hands on guys. I'm going to play physical. Seen it that it worked, you know. So I'm going to put my hands on guys, mess timing up, and, you know, they can't do nothing with it. They can't do nothing. But then five yards, me put my hands on them, slow time up. He said, I'm going to put my hands on them and make their timing off on their play. And he said, there's nothing they could do about it within the first five yards. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just get out there with your boxing gloves on and give them that bam. You know what I'm saying? Give them that right hook, baby. And tell them where they at. You ain't going to catch shit today, baby. Whoa. Come on, Legereus. Let's go. Quarterback looking away, so. Come on! Beyond being an aggressive cover corner, what kind of guy are you in terms of being a team member? Are you a vocal leader? Are you, uh, are you a I guy that yes. people? What yes, I wouldn't say that I'm very vocal. I'm not the rah-rah guy. I'm not going to be all down your neck or this. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already. Come on, you guys, subscribe. Let's go! I even work with you to get better, you know, get out the field. Or call you out to practice, you know. I'm a leader like that. I'm not the one that's going to be all... So, as you can th as he's saying right now, he's not really a vocal leader. He'll be vocal if he needs to. Like, you've heard him talk, sh like he said, like, 
when he's talked to Tyree Kill and shit like that. He's he, He'll get vocal if he needs to. He talks when he needs to. He's just not overly loud. He just talks shit when he needs to talk shit. Because he's a shit talker. Trust me. Go watch his, his mic'd up moments. <laughs> but uh, like I told everybody before, we've got enough loud mouse on the team. Jeffrey Simmons and Will Levis can hold it down for the whole team. So I think them two is enough. We'll be good to go. Uh, just you get them interceptions and throw them little ass receivers into the ground. Uh, and and uh, and you sh you show all them bigger guys w w what a true corner a true all pro secondary you know is gonna look like the Tennessee Titans are gonna have a a really really dog unit out there I can't wait to watch this bro every play I cannot wait to watch this bro my eyes are gonna be on Sneed and 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 Cheeto definitely every play bro oh, now you're there screaming and yelling no that's not me your willingness to play anywhere on the field just wanting to be out there how much does that kind of help you with crazy. your background having safety experience as well what did you learn from that I just hit my, my oh, screen man, it's, bad. it's definitely you know helped me out along the run playing safety you know and playing corner because that oh, safety yeah. i was coming down as a nickel spot you know, i feel like that helped me out a lot you know so he's played everywhere he can play safety corner anything nickel inside anywhere uh, you gotta have fluid hips you know you can't always use your hands you know once you get beat you're gonna get beat a couple times you know here and there but you know you gotta have fluid hips he's a, <laughs> he's a, you're gonna be get beat a couple times you gotta, you gotta have fluid hips you gotta be able to turn those babies and move you know what I mean? That's why we need a safety, bro. That's why Tyler Newbin is, has caught my attention. Obviously, Justin Simmons would completely take that away, and we can focus on not fo worrying about the safety position going into the draft. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. How did you come about getting through the draft? Uh, letter drills, you know, get with my coaches, you know, and just work on it. Uh, I, I knew, I knew, I knew it was gonna come. You know, years prior, before that, you know, Russell told me you're a little too aggressive. You know, and they tell me before games, they would come up to tell me, I'm watching you sneeze, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Yeah, so even if I put my hands on guys, you know, even if it's slip and hit them in the chin, and, you know, they flop, you know, I still get a flag, you know. You hear it's that? Point of cause of business, so. He said people be flopping and getting fouls and getting flags on him uh, because he's so physical, people are flopping, bro. Oh, my God, he's turning people into James Harden. Are you kidding me? What are we doing here? I love this. This guy's awesome, bro. Literally, he's like, Every time, every time someone asks some question, he keeps moving up my fan, like as as a fan favorite. You know, I, I I see a lot of people really liking, it. and if he does well, he starts locking some of these guys down, bro. You you, 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 you gonna see, you gonna I see. Not like that. <laughs> How they talk about the hip drop tackle? So I don't like that. Yeah, they might be going to put flags on this. Man. <laughs> and you thinking about that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, am I doing? Is am I gonna get called? I mean, how does that? Does it affect? How can? How can? That's you crazy, that? bro. Uh, me, me, uh, me. I don't care. Me personally, I'm gonna go make the tackle whichever way. If it's that way, I'll take the flag. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I'll make sure I get down though. You hear that? He's like, I'm just going to tackle him however it happens. If I get the flag, I get the flag, but I'm going to tackle him however I have to tackle him. That's why it's not fair. This rule is stupid, bro. Like the hip drop tackle, whatever the hell. Like, how are they supposed to? It's hard to tackle somebody as it is, bro. And why couldn't they have added this rule with the day we drafted Derrick Henry? You know how many tomato can ass players have hung on to him like that and brought him down that way? You know how many 15 yard penalties we could have used and probably really helped us in some of them tight close games this is crazy to me bro crazy all right all right uh before we hit rank carthon y'all what do y'all think about our new all pro corner legerius sneed are you kidding me like everything that that's the first time i ever heard that so look at that i got fi i got final boss goosebumps like this is crazy bro like damn bro he said the money ain't gonna change shit Money ain't changing nothing. I'm still going to be doing what I'm doing. All, all the money does is take pressure off my shoulders. No, my family's taken care of. And I can focus on the game that I love. Clip that. You get what I'm saying? Legereus Sneed is him, bro. Legereus Sneed and Cheeto. And again, Calvin Ridley and e Hop. And they, they even ask him, who, who, who are you going to guard in practice? Like, who, who, basically, who's their number one type shit? Stirring some shit up already. And what did he say? They both good, man. They both real good. You know, whoever's in front of me can get the work. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. What more better professional, confident, cocky way can you answer a question, bro? Oh, my God. Wow.
What are we doing here? That is unbelievable. I love this. I love this. Oh, man. Let me turn on my fan. It's fucking hot. All right. All right, fellas. All right. How we doing, y'all? Let's go. Let's get into the comments real quick before we start ran Carthon. I didn't even hear what he had to say. He said Jamal Adams should move to strong safety, possibly. Yes, sir. We do need speed. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Keaton says, TA, how many games are you going to in 2024? I'm only going to one game. I'm going to the Charger game. That's it. Edgar says, hello, everyone. Greetings from Mexico. Hola, I'm a big Titans fan. It's great to find this space dedicated for only the team that makes me uh vibrate pause and feel passion pause for football <laughs> hey man i appreciate you for stopping in buddy this is a two-tone blue uh teutonia you know what i'm saying this is where it is this is where it is. this is where it's at so uh hopefully you find you, you find some joy here buddy I, re I really hope you uh you enjoy the the channel i really i really do who do you guys want to draft going into the draft who do you guys want to draft real quick before we hear what Rand carthon has to say about everything everybody put your team and who do you guys want to draft we're going to start this Rancarthon part of things, and, and he talks for a while. He talks for a while, so we're going we're gonna to listen to it and, and hear what he's got to say. But I want to know who you guys want to draft in the comment section. Like I said, this channel don't work unless you guys are active. Hit that like button. Get those comments up. Subscribe. If everyone subscribes today, there's a chance we could reach 14,500. Make sure you guys subscribe. Appreciate everybody also that the memberships is back for all the people that are looking to join the membership only $2.99 a month. There it is. There's the link. Hit that shit and support the channel. Okay. King says alt. Shave says alt or neighbors. Uh, Titan Kong says alt. Uh, let's see. Billy Scott says if you're feeling generous, there's super chat. All donations go to the channel or there is cash app money sign Titan Anderson. Those are all facts. What's your favorite NFL team? The, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to the Chargers game. Me too, Keaton. Good shit, buddy. Uh, Titan Kong says, when the chips are down, Will Levis is going to sling. Bro, bro, they better be ready, bro. Uh, Ross says, Joe Alt. Uh, Julian says, Malik Neighbors. Lateral Crew says, Alt or Neighbors. Neighbors is growing on me a lot. Th through a lot, Dude, he's a beast, bro. Uh, Stoner Titan, Joe Alt. Um, Michael M. Neighbors. Cat Nelson, Alt. Uh... Titan Saucy, Alt, and Nubin. Interesting. Titan Kong says, uh, Joe Alt. Julian, Malik, Neighbors, then Alt. Farley says, I'll take Alt. Leggett as a later pick, maybe. Uh, IR Hoshi says, Alt. Uh, Calvin says, Alt, then uh, Travis Hunter or Shador next year's. <laughs> you a Colorado fan? That's what's up. Titan Saucy says, King, you ain't getting either of those, buddy. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it, man. I appreciate y'all. This is crazy. He said, how did I end up here? Go Colts. Hey, man, I'm a Tennessee Titans fan. Number one in the world, baby. Let's go. All right, let's hear what Rand Carthon has to say. Let's hear what but my big buddy Rand Carthon has to say, you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, fellas. We're going to get this going. Let's have some more fun. You know, obviously, it's a, a sound really check. good day for us. Thumbs up um, for sound check if we sound good. To uh, officially announce Legarius and have him here, so we're uh, extremely excited about that. Um, just getting him here in the building, getting him with, uh, you know, Coach Wilson and Chris and Steve has been good. The energy has been great. Um, and it, we were talking, you know, with his mom, uh, Mama Snow, yeah. kind of telling her how small the football world is. And an example was her best friend. Can we spam Rank Carthon, Chris please? Harris from college. Seriously. You know I mean? So our football world is really small. But uh, look at it. Uh, look we're almost at 50 likes, little, you guys. Get those likes up. Let's go. This is with all the rest of the guys. Uh, but more than anything, I just wanted to get up here and speak to you guys a little bit about free agency. You know, and uh, we haven't had a chance to uh, speak. I know I spoke with uh, Paul 101, Jim 101 about free agency. Um, Hell yeah. Just overall, man, we came in with a targeted plan and, um, you know, and an idea of what we wanted to do. And that was, you know, started by our pro uh, department, you know, and those guys led by Brian Gardner. 
um, as well as our coaching staff being able to come in, hit the ground running. Um, and one thing I want to say, and I don't think we do this enough, uh, I want to thank Miss Amy. Miss Amy! You know, uh, for allowing us to do this. I always give her a shout done. out. She's the GOAT. Um, this doesn't happen, you know, without her approving it and being okay with it, as well as Kenneth and Barkley. Um, it was a lot of conversations with them. Uh, we had a meeting to let them know what our targeted plan was, um, how we were uh, going to go about it. And she was on board, 100% supportive. And even when we had to pivot, you know, making her aware of what we were doing. Um, and so, you know, I want to thank her for allowing us to do that. You know, also... Miss Amy, um, thank Anthony you! Robinson, you know, leading our personnel department. You know, Chad Brinker, uh, Vin yeah. Marino. Um, you know, Vin is, a, Vin is a stud. I know Vin, you know, walks around pretty unassuming most days. Uh, but Vin is the is the magic that uh, allowed these deals to come to fruition. Um, him and his relationships, Hell Chad yeah. and his relationships, Hell yeah. my relationships, A Rob's relationships, our pro department. We really lean on everybody, um, and it's not just myself, you know, leading the charge on getting players in here. It's wherever we have an advantage or relationship, we like to take advantage of that. Um, so. You guys are aware of you know, yeah. everybody we signed. Um, glad to talk about those guys, and you know, in particular, if you guys have questions, so just open it up to you guys. All right, so they're gonna add, they're opening it up right now for him to answer questions, and it's so crazy because it's like I don't know how he pulled this off. I don't know how he was able to come in here so fast and just change everything about this team up so quickly. It's remarkable, literally remarkable. Yeah, I mean, it, it helps us tremendously out from a coverage standpoint on the back end. And, you know, if Hell you guys yeah. know Denard and what he wants to do, I think the guys that we signed uh, in Cheeto and uh, Cheeto, LJ, I think they both, you know, fit what he wants to do uh, from a coverage standpoint. And then having Roger here. You know, Rogers Finally. played outside, he's played inside, and so he fits um, as well. So it gives us, you know, a legitimate you, you know, top three out of the gate, and we're going to continue to add guys. We're going to expect guys that were here last year to step up, you know, and earn those other spots. But uh, we, we're bringing in Ski. You hear that? You hear that? He fi finally, man, a lot of people don't give Roger McCreary his props, man, his dues. He's played everywhere, outside, inside, and he gets to play inside where he's most comfortable. Um, outside them three... Everybody better fucking put their big boy pants on and try to earn a spot and take this shit serious because we're building something special over here and you better be a good-ass football player and, and, and football better mean something to you. Like I said, we, we, want, we want football players. We want team players, not no selfish-ass people that are going to cry and look like they're going to beat the hell out of their quarterbacks like A.J. Brown. We're not going to have any crybabies like Christian Fulton. We're, we're, we're done with people like that. We're not having guys like that. Only tough-ass, grown-ass men that love football. Facts. Talk to us, Rand. Team fits for what we're going to do defensively. Do you expect this group to be the best in secondary in the league? That's up for them to decide. Best um, secondary in the league, y'all what? So <laughs> on the outside, so I, I expect those guys to play, you know, really well. Um, and But I know one thing is that they'll be coached extremely hard. They'll be really I love this. the way they approach it. So I expect those guys to play well this year. How this defense has been built. How are, you, how are you looking at the, the pass rush? Where is, is this a situation where it's like the secondary, they're going to have to <laughs> gonna be strong from the back end to the front end? Like how do you uh, address that? No, we want to build a complete defense. Um, yeah, we want to build a complete in, in defense, past, baby. We our strength be up front, you know, and that's kind of shifted right now, but we're still looking uh, to address those positions as needed. This is um, crazy, bro. From a free agency standpoint, free agency is open. It's not over, so we're going to continue. It's to not over. Uh-oh. our focus now. Um, so Damn. We're going to, continue to add, you know, up front, um, uh -oh. on all sides of the ball, um, but it, we're we're still working on that. We ain't done adding players, baby. We ain't done adding players. So again, free agency is not over. Just like he said, what are we gonna do, fellas? What are the Tennessee Titans gonna do? The Jerry is sneak. Oh my God, bro! What jerseys are you guys getting? Are, are, are you, what's the next jersey you guys are getting? I'm going to be honest. Mine are going to be custom Titan Anderson jerseys for, you know, I use them for work purposes and everything else. What jersey are you guys getting though? I, I got to get, I got to get my oldest son, a uh, little TA. He's turning eight. So I'm going to get him some Will Levis jerseys. I got to get baby TA a jersey, bro. I got to get him. Maybe like a Ty J Spear. Maybe a Sneed, bro. Maybe a Sneed. I don't know, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. Justin Simmons, D-Hop, like. I don't know, man. This is crazy. It's 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 uh, 
it's an interesting time right now. I think everybody should be excited. If you're a Titans fan, man, and you're not excited about this upcoming season, that's crazy. We still have an hour and three minutes to go. To resign Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're talking like about Al Shock. But uh, once you didn't get those guys, you went out and got rid of Sucks they lock, didn't get Autry back. A pivot, or could you have made all of that happen? Uh, there was a scenario uh, that Van and Chad put together where we could have uh, assembled the Avengers, um, but we wouldn't have had money to sign our draft class or do anything else. So those were scenarios. Um, but uh, a lateral Dico crew, I see and, you, bro. Uh, Aziz were two vital members, you know, of our, our team. Um, Aziz was an official captain, and uh, Danico was an unofficial captain, um, as you guys know. Uh, so those guys were, you know, play huge parts for us, and you know, it's going to suck to see them leave. Am I the only one that didn't somewhere. really but, mind if Aziz um, came you know, back we or feel not? Like we'll, you know, we'll find ways to to get better and replace. You guys them. tell me. Oh, he said, "Is your starting right tackle on the roster right now?" Um, we'll answer draft questions at a later date, because um, again, this is more about free agency. Um, and to say is our starting right tackle, um, we got more than five offensive linemen on the uh, on the roster, so we can roll That's out eighty-five up, and call them starters <laughs> if you want to at this point. Um, but we're uh, again, we're gonna like I just told uh, TD, we're gonna continue to look to bolster up front. Hell yeah! Uh, we've added weapons around Will. Still got to be able to protect him. Got two good backs out of backfield that can make explosive plays. So we want to um, continue to balance this thing out. You know, and make this a balanced football team. Did Did you guys catch that? Did Rand Carthon just say we're gonna draft a left tackle? Did Rand Carthon just hint at the Titans drafting a left tackle? Should I rewind it a little bit? What do you guys think? On the, uh, on the roster. So we can roll out 85 and call them starters. Listen, <laughs> if you listen. Want to at this point. Listen. Uh, but we're, uh, again, we're going to, like I just told uh, TD, we're going to continue to look to bolster up front. Uh, we've added weapons around Will. Still got to be able to protect him. Got two good backs out of back. So he mentions basically we've got weapons. He mentions we've got weapons. But he says we need to be able to balance it. And he mentions the blocking. He mentions the blocking as if everybody already knows we need to, to, to address that. But is he pretty much saying it, it's going to be blocking? It's going to be blocking first pick? It kind of seems like that's what he's hinting at. Again, if Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. is there, there's no way you pass on them, right? I don't know, right? But uh, it's going to be interesting because it, it sounds like he's more favoring, because we got Calvin Ridley, uh, that he's more favoring... Um, that left tackle spot. Interesting. Very. In I just. I, I thought I caught that. Field that can make explosive plays. So we want to um, continue to balance this thing out. You know, and make this a balanced football team. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, fellas. Like and subscribe. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, the amount of you know safeties that are on the street right now. It's it's uh, it's a plethora of guys that have played a ton of ball. Um, in the league, we visited some guys, and we, you know, we're going to continue to do our due diligence, you know, on those guys and see where the market, you know, brings us. Um, but right now, like I said, we start draft meetings next week, and so that'll be, you know, what is it? Where we're we April second, uh, so the draft is 24 Damn. days away, and so I think that takes precedent right now uh, to fine tune that plan and bring everybody together on that. So really looking forward to that part of it. Uh, but there, are, there are a lot of good players still on the street that can help us. Oh, man, Justin Simmons is a Tennessee Titan, ladies and gentlemen. Sign him up already. Go play in games. We need guys who are reliable right now. Sign him up. We're only six, six likes away from 50, you guys. The goal is to get as close to 100 before the two-hour mark ends. Everybody pause for the cause. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. Let's go. Let's go. I appreciate everybody for being here. Hopefully, everybody's having a good time out there. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying their time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ran Carthon, bro. Ran Carthon. Letting everybody know what is going on, fellas. What is going on? How do you guys feel so far about everything? We still got a, about eight, eight minutes left of that video to listen to. It's pretty crazy. Oh, my God, bro. The Snee trade was great for us. This season is going to be so crazy, gaming said. I'm excited. I just, I'm going to be honest. Uh, every time you guys see me post that link, it's the membership, you guys. It's the membership. If you guys, the memberships is back. First time back in three months. If you guys would like to join the membership, hit that link. It's only $3, cheaper than a fucking cup of coffee. It's crazy. 
So again, I appreciate you guys more than you know. I really do. Oh, I can't wait to see what we do, man. Everybody's sitting there talking about the draft. Everybody's sitting there talking about the free agency and everything that's happening in between. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Let's finish this one up, though. We still got an hour left, you guys, of, of the show. Well, I think um, just the way the league goes, I mean, everyone is going to yeah. be, you know, excited about the new shiny toys um, that are the, that is the draft class. <laughs> and, you know, once once we get through the draft and we see where teams have, you know, made their needs because there are other teams that need safeties, um, I think it could take the Hey, prime time. I, I see you, bro. Uh, I appreciate you for know, stopping in. Who's available. You know, at that Hit that time, like and, button, fellas. Let's uh, go. Make sure well you subscribe. Um, well thought out in our plan of still being able to attack, you know, post-draft, uh, kind of like we did with DeAndre last year, to be in position to sign yep. a player if we need to. You look at that inside backward position. How do you rate that free agency against rookies? Whereas, like, that's crazy. You know, mean ass free agency. Like his own job. That's tough. But then telling everybody else their job. Like, how do you rate that against each other? I think you, I think it's all about the person um, and the type of player. Um, I've been um, my first year in Atlanta. Uh, we had a, a rookie second round pick, Curtis Hees. Lofton. Uh, that was our Mike Backer, but he was lying next to a veteran in Keith Brooking. It's crazy, uh, as our bro. Will Backer. And, and Keith uh, wore the communicator that first year, and then Curtis took it over that second year. Okay. So, um, you know, for it's it's about the person you have. You have some rookies, uh, Fred Warner. I was a part of Fred drafting, Warner was a um, beast. His uh, what was it? His first year, he was the Green Dot. So it's all about that person, what that person's uh, comfortable with. Um, and if they're able to handle the communication and they're a three-down player, then they'll be out there. I've seen teams, um, I want to say it was um, Eric Weddle, you know, when he was with the Chargers and when he was with the Rams, he wore the green dot. That's so crazy. it doesn't necessarily have to be a linebacker that does the communication. Um, oh, he said it doesn't have to necessarily be, be the linebacker with, that does the job. communication. That's interesting. No, we had we hadn't crossed that bridge yet. Uh, honestly, we hadn't. We don't even have uh, K nine in the building right now. Um, so uh, he'll be here next week, and Damn. once they're able to get with our coaches, so it doesn't look like he'll be having the green dot totally on his trust helmet. Coach Bush and Denard to figure out who's going to be the best to uh, lead that group and get them lined up. Damn. I wonder who it's going to be. No, they're still good players. Players have played, you know, a ton of snaps Hell yeah. uh, in this league. But, you know, not to get too far ahead, but uh, this tackle draft class is, is pretty deep. Oh, um, wait so a minute. Then, you know, like we always you hear do, that? we find the best option for us. Um, and, and hopefully we make the right decision. Okay, wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. It's too hard to judge this or, or to figure him out. He just made it seem like we're going to go offense, you know, tackle. And then he's over here saying, like, this is a really deep, offensive lineman draft you know what i'm saying so it's like damn bro like this is what i think he's gonna do i really i really feel like if malik neighbors or marvin harrison jr is on the board he'll take them if they're not there and joe alt's there he'll take joe alt if neither of them is there he's gonna trade back with whoever wants to trade back and grab a quarterback because there's gonna be takers there's gonna be some people who are gonna want to trade up it just seems like it's gonna happen so that's kind of where i'm at on everything that's kind of where I'm at on everything. What do you guys think about everything that was said so far? I mean, that's crazy to me, bro. Complete craziness. Appreciate everybody for hanging out with us tonight, man. That's so dope. Oh my, let's read the uh, let's read the poll. Uh, how many or how good will the Titans' defense be? Number one defense, twenty three percent. Top five, twenty two percent. Top ten, twenty six percent. Top twenty, twenty nine percent. So it's literally neck and neck right now. It's crazy. It is so crazy. Who do you guys think the Titans are going to draft after everything like that? Isn't it crazy what what uh, Legereus Sneed said? Like, that's so crazy, bro. Legereus Sneed is a... God, he's legit, bro. He, what? He's just... Like, money's not going to change him. He's like... he's. They're like, what about the chip? Like, you, Are you still going to have a chip on your shoulder? He's like... He's like, yeah, it's... Uh, you know, the only thing the money's going to change is going to... It's going to, like, basically take the weight off of my shoulders like 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 with with me worrying about my family like they're going to be taken care of so now I can focus more on my job being a great football player like I love it everything that he said and then he said like they asked him um they asked him who 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 are you going to guard in, on defense you know kind of asking like who's the number one receiver type shit and he said he's off uh, well they're both really good he's also uh, whoever lines up whoever lines up against me can get the work 
<laughs> I was like, oh man, he's this guy's answering everything so correctly. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. It's crazy, bro. But yeah, he was just he just seems like he's gonna be a great uh you know, a great person for this team to uh to grow around. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Titan Kong, another dono from Titan Kong. $2 donation from Titan Kong. He says, we going to dominate the league. 12 to 13 wins incoming. I hope so, TK. I'm telling you, TK. I hope so, bro. I really hope so. I want this team to do some work, man. Let's get those likes to 50, bro. It's at 47. Let's go, fellas. Come on, you guys. Hit that subscription. Let's get those subscribers flowing. Woo! Appreciate you guys, man. This shit's crazy. J. George says, I just figured by picking top 20 was equivalent to all of the above on the poll. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I.R. Hoshi says, Marvin Harrison Jr. and neighbor Neighbors will be gone. Alt, it is. Again, it seems like that. Nothing's ever guaranteed in the draft. Nobody. Mel Kuyper's weird-ass ferret-looking, like, his ferret-looking at, he, nobody knew. Nobody knew that the Texans were going to go up and get two back-to-back -back players. Nobody thought that was going to happen. But it did happen. My point is, is, is simple. The draft is a monster. It's a beast in its own self. Nobody can predict it. All right? Nobody knows what's going on. It's like the Kraken out there at the North Sea, bro. It's, it, that bitch somewhere down there. Breaking ships and, and killing crew members. It's what it does. It's there. That shit's real. Okay, maybe not. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, come on, bro. I love it. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited about how this defense is going to get to play freely and get to play in your face. How often did we see on first and 10 the Titans playing defense and their corners are 15, 20 yards off on first and 10? What the hell is that? That makes no sense to me. What are they doing? Luckily now... We have two corners that really love that five-yard space. And they're not just going to let you run into your route and attack them full speed. Going No, fuck no. They're going to disrupt you right away, right when you're trying to get into your route. It's not going to happen like that. I love it, bro. Void says, Joe Alt, Legereus Need, Will, Will Levis, D-Hop, Jeffrey Simmons, Harold Landry. Tell me that doesn't sound scary, bro. The list goes on. The list goes on. Stoner Titan says, Levis to Ridley and Hopkins sounds terrifying. Uh, the media don't know there's an upcoming Dark Horse AFC contender. Let's go, man. Let's go. I just want people to, you know what I'm saying? Like, like let, let people overlook us. Who cares? But the fact that we're being so disrespected, and the mainstream media is giving us these tomato can-ass grades in the offseason. What was it, C-minus or C-plus or some shit like that? How is that even possible? You go out and get Cheeto, you go out and get and Sneed, you go out and get Calvin Ridley, Kenneth Murray Jr., the list goes on. Like, what are we talking about here? This is crazy. So how does this happen? How does that even happen? Uh, Titan Kong says, with the Eagles' first pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Eagles select Sam Hartman, quarterback from Notre Dame. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Eagles. He says, bro, Titans are about to go 5-12. and 12. Bro, you've never watched a football game. You've never watched a football game. That's crazy to me, bro. It's crazy, man. Legereus need completely changing everything up. Legereus freaking Sneed. Come here, Bubba. Yeah, baby TA in the building. Light show. Woo, woo, woo. Say what's up. Hey, you guys, get your comments in, fellas. Let's go, man. The Tennessee Titans' luxurious need is ready to go. I can't wait, man. I just, I can't wait for this, bro. This is going to be, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, what do you guys think about Justin Simmons becoming a Tennessee Titan? Are you guys for that? Would you guys be, would you guys be, would you guys be good with, with Jeff, uh, Justin Simmons joining us and having the, the Simmons brothers, Justin and Jeffrey? We can just call them JJ Simmons. <laughs> That'd be a great combination, you guys. That'd be a great combination. What's up, Lux? How you doing, buddy? He says Titans should take Joe Alt or trade back. Again, trading back is something I'm actually I'm actually interested in for sure. I, I really am. I really am interested in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna kick us off of the stream. 
We're still saying what's up to everybody, bro. Yeah. Can you say hi? Say, say hi. Say tighten up. Tighten up. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. The mainstream media gives the Tennessee Titans a C-plus grade for the offseason, bro. That's crazy. That is crazy, bro. Like... <laughs> I know, I can see it's okay. Come here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How we all feeling, you guys? How we all feeling? Come on, you guys. Speak to me, man. This is crazy. I can't believe what's going on, man. Oh, my God. J. George, uh, hard to outplay bad coaching. I've always thought Mariota, Tannehill, and even Levis in Miami play way better uh, when they were in two-minute drill calling their own plays. Excited for Cali. Bro, Callahan's going to change it all up, bro. I promise you. I promise you. Um, and the thing about Will Levis that I love is that he brings a different um, fire. He brings a different fire. You know what I'm saying? He hates to lose. Like, it's it's crazy. Uh, the Iron Vision says, nah, you got Mayo man as your quarterback. What does that even mean? You probably love Mayo. Pause. That's crazy, though. Yes, sir, y'all. 50 likes, man. Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody for getting those 50 likes, bro. Keep hitting that like button. Keep subscribing. We're closing in on 14,500 subscribers. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, let me get back into it. Where is it at? Uh, Dylan says, sup, TA. If Sneed says Calvin really can run routes like no other than I trust, I'm telling you, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. I appreciate you guys, man. That's baby TA. That's not little TA. That's baby TA. Uh, he said, I feel bad for your son. His team won't win a Super Bowl in his lifetime. I feel bad for your son, the one that you don't have, probably that you're never going to have because of how, how sad of a person you are. That, that, I mean, you know what I mean? What woman's going to want to sit around and watch a movie or let alone make kids with your boring, weirdo, goofball ass? Like, come on, bro. It's so strange. It's so strange how some of you all are so weird. So weird. It's fucking strange, bro. I love it. I love it. Bunch of haters. Lil T happy TA, baby TA, happy Lil TA, happy Lady T, everybody. All the TAs. We all happy, man. We all happy. Oh, man. Yeah, the, the trolls are just sad people. It's just it is what it is. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What are you guys thinking? He says I was the 50th like. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Uh, Void says Ridley is 29 and he missed one year. He missed like two years of football, basically. Uh, best vision. He got too much. Man, bro, I'm telling you, just wait until you see what he does. Just wait until you see what he does on the field. He's in This four-year contract is his prime as a football player. Joanna says, boy, was, boy, we are going to beat your team 100 to 0, 0 in vision. <laughs> he said, hold up, let TA cook. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Titan Thor said, TA, that story Carthon told uh, about when they signed Calvin Ridley was dope. Yeah, Cal Rand Carthon is, he's changing everything for us over here, you guys. He really is. Um, this is a good question. We're going we're gonna to turn this into a short uh, MB says, TA, did you ever play football? If you did, were you a trash talker? I played football when I was a little ass kid. I was a running back and a corner. Those were the two positions that I played. Um, but I didn't really play football that much. I was a basketball player. I played basketball my whole life. Um, and yes, I'm a, I'm a shit talker. I'm a combo guard. I play both uh, point guard and shooting guard. And um, um, yeah, it's... Uh, on the court, I'm 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 a big shit talker, but but it's it's not for no reason. It's more of a, a like I'm loud. I always tell people pick pick left left like to your left. Watch out, he's coming. Fake fake fake. You know all that types of shit. Heads up, all that types of you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm always over there. I'm always over there, or, or I'll go off my guy and double team if I need to, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, I've, I play basketball my whole fucking life, my whole life. <laughs> he said I play DB. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. 
Yeah, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys join that membership if you guys haven't already, man. Shout out to all the people who rejoined, all the people who whose who's thing reapplied and everything like that. I appreciate you guys more than you know, man. I really do. This channel's been taking off lately, bro. All the new subscribers, all the like, all the new... It's crazy, bro. It's just so crazy. It's humbling, man. It really is. I appreciate you guys more than more than you guys know. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Uh, MB says that's so cool. I knew you were. It's hard to not not. Uh, it's hard not to trash talk, especially with pickup basketball. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm a '90s baby, bro. Like I I grew up where you had you played outside, man. You know what I'm saying? You played outside, and yeah, I, I played. Yeah, I played pretty competitive, pretty much my whole life. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. I love it. I love basketball. There's nothing like there, it's. It's almost like tunnel vision. And and for all the people who played football, like I said, I didn't really play football too much. Um, but but when you're when you're on the court in a five on five game and it's close and it, it's it seems like it's tunnel vision, like uh, running up and down the court. Like all you see is the court. You know what I'm saying? You hear the outside noise, but it's really not. It's like white noise almost. You know. And I'm always the person who wants the final shot. I want to win the game. You know. I, it's it's crazy, right? Man, that's crazy. One day, one day I'm gonna have to set. One day I'm gonna have to set. One day I'm gonna have to set up one of my uh, set my phone up and go live at LA Fitness or something. P do a pickup game so you guys can see. That would be funny as fuck. That would be funny. <laughs> but yeah, basketball is the the sport that I, I I enjoyed playing the most. I just love it. No look passes when people aren't expecting it. Fake around the back. Shh, go back up with the layup. Finish up and under the, with the left hand if you have to. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It's like art. It's like fucking art. Uh, Hoosierman says, uh, I am a retired Titan. I played running back and played for the Titans 20 years. Okay, cool, bro. Cool. <laughs> How's everybody feeling today, man? Let's go. <laughs> fucking Legereus Sneed is a Tennessee Titan, bro. I am still, I'm still like, it's crazy to think that we have Legereus Sneed and we have Cheeto with Roger McCreary respectfully on the inside. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy, bro. Uh, sports says, do you remember Parrish Cox? My goodness, uh, uh, my goodness, thank God we have Sneed and Cheeto. Yeah, Parrish Cox. Of course I remember Parrish Cox. I actually was okay with him coming over when we picked him up, but yeah, he wasn't the greatest, was he? We've had worse. I'm, I mean, let's keep it a band. Uh, he said, fuck the Jags. I'm telling you, bro, the Jaguars are the dumbest team in sports. All of sports. Fuck the Ravens. What team do you hate the most in sports, uh, in football? Put it in the chat. I'm just curious who everybody hates because everybody everybody hates different things. Appreciate everybody again, man. Make sure you guys subscribe. Join us for all future uh, live streams, man. We'll be live again tomorrow. Once this stream ends, uh, mods, we got to get get to work on those those emojis. All right, fellas, we got to get to work on those emojis. Get them all ready to go so that everybody has, all the new members have a lot of fun stuff to use. Uh, Jacoby says, bro, Baltimore took your only good player. Keep coping. That makes no sense at all. That makes no sense at all. Didn't you just see, did you just tune in? You think Legereus Sneed sucks? <laughs> it just shows how many idiots and goofballs are out there that don't watch football. It's crazy. Joanna hates the Chiefs. Iron Vision hates the 49ers. The Cowboys. What up, Titanium? He said, what up, TA? Ran is uh, doing what we hope J-Rob would have done. We're going, to, we're going to be a team to watch. Dude, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we do. I'm just going to give it 100. I can't wait to see what this offense looks like going forward. I just, I'm excited, bro. I'm really excited about this offense. I'm really excited about this offense. The Tennessee Titans, man. Finally, man, finally we have the leadership. Check. The franchise quarterback. Check. We've got everything we could need for the most part. Everything's coming together, bro. This is crazy. Thank God, man. I didn't want a shitty team. I want to win. I want to win football games, bro. Ah, I know. I can't wait to see D-Hop play again this year. Uh, last year, he came onto the scene with very little... Uh, chemistry or working. He didn't have any work time or anything, any practice barely with uh, with Will Levis and Will Levis and D-Hop ended up building that and going into this year, it's already, you know, it's already there. So um, 
Yeah, this is going to be exciting. It's going to be really exciting to see Will Levis and D-Hop again, and then Will Levis and Calvin Ridley. That first 80-yard-plus touchdown, I'm going to go nuts, you guys. I'm going to go viral on my reaction, I'm telling you. Calvin Ridley, 80-yard touchdown, Willie Rocket. Oh, my God, bro. Calvin Ridley doesn't have to stop for an underthrown football from noodle arm fucking Trevor Lawrence from the Jacksonville Jungle Cats. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. I can't wait. J. George says Chig has the talent. Hope he kills it this year. We're going to need him to. We're going to need him to. Appreciate you guys, man. Titans all day of the week. Titans all day of the week, fellas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jacoby says, you're not even hitting 80 yards total for the... This guy's crazy, bro. This guy's crazy. He's he's never he's never watched football in his life. In his whole life. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts, bro. Legereus Sneed, man. Wow. So many people are, all, are, are really big on it right now. And I don't blame him, bro. He's a beast. Dude's a beast. Dude is a beast. Legereus Sneed, baby! Woo! Oh my God, man. This team is going to dominate. I can't wait to see us start shitting on teams, lining them up and fucking stacking those wins like Legos. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. What's up, Blackheart? How you doing, bro? Blackheart in the building. Uh, Six says, do you get a pair of Pit Vipers when coming out as a Titans fan? Dude, what the fuck? He says, I like the Cowboys and then I hate them. That's wild. You you either hate the Cowboys or you like them. I don't think you can kind of be in the middle with them. That's crazy. Hey, Blackheart, we're good, bro. We just got done watching the, uh, you know, Rank Harthon and Legeria Sneed talk. And it's just, it's crazy, bro. It really is. Rob says, I was a Bills fan back in the day, lost four Super Bowls. That's tough, bro, but hey, man. So what, did you switch teams? Are you a Titans fan? Like, what's going on? Oh, man. The Iron Vision says, if they choke this year, I'm becoming a Texans fan. You're, well, if, if, if you're a Titans fan and you're saying that, oh, I think he says, I like the Cowboys. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you're a Cowboys fan, but if they choke this year, you're going to become a Texans fan. Well, they choke all the time, so have fun with that. <laughs> have fun with that. That's crazy. Lil Jock Pop Out says H Town. That's crazy too. H Town, man, you guys need to stop crying about our our Oilers uniforms, man. That's that's a, that, like that needs to stop. That really needs to stop. That shit is so annoying, bro. Appreciate it, man. Whoever just subscribed. Whoever just okay, another one. Appreciate you guys, man. Keep subscribing if you're new to the channel. This is nuts, bro. It feels good having the um, everyone drop your mayo. Everyone drop your Will Levis mayo emojis. I love it, man. Tighten up all day. Tighten up all day. All the real ones know what's up. We're the Oilers, we're the Titans, we're the Tennessee Oilers, we're the Tennessee Titans. Everything, bro. It's all us. They're the they're the Houston Texans. That's it. Their first quarterback's name is David Conn. <laughs> Whoop! What the fuck? Who's that? I know, right? Yeah, buddy. Who do you guys want in the draft? Everybody spam your draft pick. Put it in the draft. Or in the chat, your draft pick. Who do you guys want your team to draft? Let's go, fellas. I appreciate it. The subscribers are flowing now. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Get those subscribers flowing. We're closing in on 14,500. Over chicken back in the building. What's up, bro? Uh, Void says Spears and Pollard with that improved offensive line with Cushenberry, Skaronski, and maybe Alt playoff time, boys. How about we, we, we go off of that? What do you guys think of Sp uh, Spears and Pollard? Who do you guys want to start specifically? Do you care who starts or do you just prefer how they're used? If so, how do you even want them used? Let me know in the chat section below. I love it, man. Uh, let's see. Graham. Okay. 
He said Levis got a dog in him. It feels a. Hey, it looks good. Have it, I, I? I've missed seeing the loyalty badges. I've missed all of that stuff, man. It, this is great, bro. He said, "Isn't Nashville in California? That's crazy." He said, "Alt Bowers are neighbors." Ooh. Appreciate you, Void. Oh, he said Bishop Sankey. Holy shit. He said Bishop Sankey. He says Pollard should start. Yeah, but King 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 Bomber, we we already know, man. That guy's a complete hater on this channel. Complete hater, bro. Jack says I don't I don't uh I don't I don't to be rude. We need a better quarterback. You don't watch football or you're not really a Titans fan. That's all I can say to you. This guy Hoosier, man, is weird as shit, bro. This dude literally is weird, man. You get you got me a little conf, conf, confused and concerned for your well-being. That's crazy. I'm ready for the draft. I know everybody is. It's got to be, like I said, it's got to be Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, or Joe All or trade back. Literally. Literally. It's got to be one of the, like, literally. Titanium Chris says Pollard and Spears equals Spider-Man meme. <laughs> Logan says, bro, I'm high as fuck. What's happening here? <laughs> oh, man, this dude's crazy. Titan Kong says, I think Pollard is going to start, but I think Ty J should be a first and second uh, running back and use Pollard as a third down running back. I don't like that at all, but I see, I see what you're going right there. Um, Zach says, we need a tackle linebacker safety. O Over Chicken says, fun fact, Bishop Sankey and I went to the same high school. That's random as shit, but that's cool. Um, let's see. Rob says, I remember the Titans came in and Steven Eddie brought me uh, to the home team. I need that again. Hopefully not a yard and a half short. We'll see, bro. We'll see. Um, Joanna Montez, can I get a shout out? There's your shout out. Uh, Titan Saucy, MB Bowers ain't falling that far, bro. Hey, we don't know where Bowers is going to go. He could go top three, top five, top ten, top twenty. I don't know, bro. DJ Reacts says, are you a believer in Will Levis? Of course. That's my quarterback, bro. I'm 100% behind him. Ready to go, man. I'm ready to go to war like John Wick for, for Will Levis. You know what I mean? What up, Donkey? Hell yeah. It's crazy. He says, what picks do you have in the first round? We pick number seven. Titans are pick number seven. Titans are pick number seven, fellas. He said, Will ain't it. That's crazy, bro. Can you imagine being him? What a tomato can. That is crazy. Let's get it up, man. Mark says, all I want to see is more, more wins, less injuries. That's... I'll give a salute to that one. We need to. We, like, the, the injuries have been so bad these last few years. It's like, damn, bro. Like, can we, can we you know what I mean? Like, can we get over that? Uh, DJ says, uh, who do you want them to draft? I want the Titans to go out there and draft Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, or Joe Alt. If they're not there, just trade back. Just trade back. Um, I think that's the best thing for us to do. Titanium Chris says, I think Rand Carthon is going after a playmaker at seven. I kind of think so, too. I'm starting to think that just, like, to give him un unlimited resources at the receiver position. He says, give us a Seth Rogen laugh. I, I can't do that, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, Seth Rogen's great. Titan Kong says, Will Levis is not a good guy. He's honestly not a bad guy, either. He's the guy. Live with it, haters. Appreciate you, TK. Patrick, uh, Patrick Diddy says, you're going to be in last place in the division. I mean, who's your team, first of all? I'm just curious. You know, if you're going to say all that, you got to at least state who you are. Who are you repping? Who's your, you know what I mean? That's crazy. So many people in here. Wild, man. It's crazy. Tennessee Titans, baby. Tennessee Titans. I know that logo looks dope. Hell yeah. 
Uh, the Iron says, I think the Titans should draft a tight end or an edge rusher. Tight end's probably not going to happen. Edge rusher's possible, but I think that'd be more realistic if we traded back. Uh, Donkey says, I like the Titans, but my team has picked 20. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. DJ says, I can't shit talk. I'm a Raiders fan, so you know how we do in the draft. Hopefully, Antonio Pierce is different. <laughs> hey, I respect it, bro. I know how it is, man. We were missing on drafts every fucking year up until this last one, it seems. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, so it, it, it felt good, you know, going through last season with a good, solid draft. You know what I mean? It, it, it really does help a lot. Like You can't just go out and buy everybody. You have to rebuild through the draft, and the draft is the biggest part to be able to do that. Um, getting fresh new talent from college is, is huge. Titan Kong says, CJ Stroud about to be Will Levis' son by the end of the 2024 season. I love it. Donkey says, I'm a Steelers fan. Hey, man, there ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, get your final questions in, you guys. Get your final questions in, fellas. Let's go. We still got 20 minutes. Hey, can you turn the light on? We're going to turn the light on, fellas. We're going to get the light on. Yeah, buddy. We got the light on, fellas. Let's go. Light is on. Light is on. All right. How we all doing today? How we all doing today, fellas? How we all doing? I know. I was, I was so happy when I saw what... I was so happy when I saw, uh, you know, what the Titans did. I really was, man. I really was. Like, everything the Titans have done so far is crazy. Legereus Need. What is your guys' thoughts on it so far, on the Legereus Need signing? Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people so damn negative about it, but I want to know what you guys have to say specifically. Okay, what is your guys' thoughts on it so far, me, on the Legereus it closed my screen real quick. Trace Hall, $5 dono. Appreciate you, bro. He says, let's go. Can't wait for draft day. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate the donos, you guys. Remember, man, the more the more you guys donate and stuff like that, the more it just helps the channel upgrades. Uh, more importantly, uh, join the Discord for the people who really want to be involved. Uh, you know, we're live every single day. We're, we're doing that every, you know, that's not going to stop. Um, but, but over at the Discord, you guys, we're talking football every single day, 24-7. So check it out. Uh, let's see, Derek says, all the haters on my friend Titan Anderson live, get off y'all saying the Titans suck. We're going to go to the playoffs. We're the best top five defense and best quarterback in Will Levis plus best wide receiver duo. Preach to him. Let him know, bro. He says, how long you been a Titans fan? I've been a Titans fan since the day the logo was released. The enforcer, you need to grow up, bro. Quit acting like a fucking child. Titanium Chris says, if Will Levis takes us to the playoffs, I'm going to drink Manny's coffee with a whole banana peel and all. Oh, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy. Let's start there. Let's start there. G-Face. Man, what the fuck are we talking about? Tighten up, Derek. I see you, bro. G-Face says, Colts are winning the AFC South. You're out of your fucking mind. You're out of your damn mind. He said, Colts suck. <laughs> Uh, Titan Kong says, Will Levis about to get full custody of the AFC South and make all of y'all his sons. Bro, all these haters need to start, need, need, need to pay attention, bro. They need to pay attention. All these haters need to pay attention and realize. Tennessee Titans are going to shock everybody, bro. They're going to shock everybody, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait to see Calvin Ridley in two-tone blue. I can't wait to see, um, you know, this new-looking Tennessee Titans team led with new leadership and every. I can't wait, bro. I'm so excited to see what we do. I really am. That's crazy. We almost, damn, we got we got almost $20 in what we do, but that YouTube takes some. So we're at eighteen ninety eight in donos, man. That's what's up. Uh, I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's see. Titans Aiden says, TA, book it. Will Levis is the next Tom Brady, but younger. Obviously younger. It's just different, bro. Like, it's different than Tom Brady. It's just similar fire. You know what I mean? That attitude is so similar to where they hate to lose. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady even sees that. Tom Brady knows that. You know what I mean? Trey Sale showing up big with another one. $5 donation right there. Trey Sale saying hyped. I appreciate that. Appreciate you, bro. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate it. Trey Sale coming through. 
uh, G Face has really sucked in a in a good quarterback team. Wow. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna act like you fell down while running around the pool as a kid. You fell down and hit your head, and um, you know what I mean. You, you're just uh, you're recovering slowly. I'm just gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go with that G phase. That's that's all I that's all I'm gonna say for you, bro. Because I've told you so many times, the stuff you're saying is not it does it's not even a diss. It's not even a it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Anything you're saying, everything you're saying is like. It's like arguing with a second grader about which crayon to color the fucking football helmet with. Like, that's how crazy it is talking to you. Every time I mention you, I feel dumber. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest. Tighten up, though. Uh, let's see. Tum one Tommy, that's correct. Or turn one Tommy says, Lions will not lose this year. Uh, after all they coaches stayed and shocked the world, no other team matters. Hashtag one pride. Titans ain't been relevant since Taylor Lewan. You didn't even spell the one's name right. Uh, Titans have nothing to do with you guys, so I don't even know why. You, what do you have against the Titans? Why? Do, why are we bothering you so much? I'm just confused because it's, it's just fu it's kind of funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why you're so mad about the Titans. What do we do to you, Eminem? Like, calm down, King Von. What are we doing over there, Chicago? I don't understand this, Detroit. Calm, calm down, Michigan. You guys are wild over there. This is insane. Y'all need to realize something over there. Over there in that cold ass weather. We don't give a damn about you. <laughs> You're NFC and all the way over there with the fucking penguins and polar bears. We don't care. You guys worry about your own damn self. We don't care about your cold ass weather up there in the big ass great north. We don't give a shit. We don't care. Worry about your own problems. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Oh, Lego says best way to send dono is Cash App. Yes, Cash App, money sign Titan Anderson. If you guys send it to Cash App, we will read it off live, whatever message you guys send. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. Appreciate all the new subscribers from today. He says, what is trading back? Like trading, the Vikings have the 11th and 23rd pick. They need a quarterback. Yeah. We're sitting there at seven. What if there's a quarterback like, let's just say Jaden Daniels, for example, that's still sitting there at seven and no one's taking him, but he will not last at 11. Why not for them to just trade everything they have and go and get Jaden Daniels so they have an opportunity? I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's possible. That's what trading back is. And it doesn't always have to be for like, you know, that specific. It could be a lot of different things, but yeah, it's when your draft going back, when you're going backwards in a trade in the draft. He said, I got timed out, bro. Nobody gives a shit. You probably did something stupid then. Crazy. 49ers on top. What are we doing here, bro? Oh, my God. Uh, turn one, Tommy says, that poll bothered me that number one was an option. Why, why, why does that bother you? You just do not understand what we're building over here? It's crazy. People are just so bothered that the Titans went out and signed everybody. Titan Kong says, preach, TA. We don't care about those penguins. I know it's crazy, bro. Those guys are so... Why are they... Why is a Lions fan over here, like, team banging on me? Like, this is... Like, you're not even in our conference, bro. Like, what the fuck is this? Freaking Lions. Like, I'll give you credit. A Lion's a lot cooler than a jungle cat. But y'all ain't got shit to a gladiator-ass fucking mythological god with a sword that lights on fire. I'll chop your little fucking tail off. You know what I'm saying? We'll neuter you little pussycats. No big deal. No big deal. I'll turn into the big, uh, the big bad veterinarian. Two-tone King T.A. vet. You know what I'm saying? So we don't play games around here. It's just weird how these Lions... What? 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 I, Eagles, I get it. Y'all are weird. You hold on to that AJ thing. But what the fuck do the Lions have to do with us? I don't get it. It's crazy. Let's start there. He says, g Phase, you 11 years old. That, that's crazy, bro. He's wild. Oh, man. Rob says, let's turn Broadway blue and gold. Go Titans and press. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Fuck no, we don't want to go gold. Fuck no. We're red, white, blue, and blue. We're, we're red, white, and two-tone blue. That's what we are, bro. We don't fucking... What are you doing? Oh, my God. Some of y'all, I swear. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Shout out to everybody in the building. How we feeling, man? Man, we still got 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes. We're going to the two-hour mark. Hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe. Again, man, I appreciate everybody for being here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed 
uh, you know, what was going on. Again, Sneed finally talking to the media was so huge, man. It was a really good thing to see. Really good thing to see. Titanium Chris says, Lions are historically horrible. Can't believe they're talking shit after one good season. It's it's just weird. Why are they coming for us? What the fuck did we do to them? I don't understand that. Like, what do we even have to do at all? Like, nothing. Nothing at all. It's weird. That's weird to me, bro. That's so weird to me. G-Face says, Titan Saucy Wild, you're the only paid member here and no wrench. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. All, all the wrench is is a mod. Someone who 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 basically helps control control the chat that, that that's all it is not 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 everybody get, get gets a wrench not even everybody wants to even worry about that um let's see where are we at um titan kong says and since when does taylor lewan's opinion matter ain't like he signing with the lions uh they need to worry about the dan campbell call in the nfc championship game against the 49ers I know. Talk about shit in the bed. No diaper. The Lions. What did you guys even do against the 49ers? Did you guys even show up? Like, what the hell was that? You guys, come on, bro. Worry about your own self. That's crazy. He says, you don't like the Predators. I don't even watch hockey, but I don't I don't want to change my team's colors. Why would you want to take the red out of... Are you, that's crazy, bro. Red for yellow? Jesus. That's just crazy to me. That's just crazy to me. <laughs> that is great. He said Cowboys are going to win the AFC South next year. Cowboys are not even the... Oh, my God. Some of these guys. Some of these guys. Hey, how many interceptions do you guys think Legereus Sneed is going to get? Do you guys think it even matters? I think his main thing is just not letting anybody score touchdowns. We still have over 100 people watching you guys. You guys have been kicking ass all day long appreciate all the new subscribers man seriously yes sir four likes away from 60 you guys not bad yes sir get that likes going you guys zach says the Bengals are gonna win the super bowl do you really think so you really think that you, you think that's gonna happen i don't know man i don't know you guys tell me you guys tell me he says four picks zero touchdowns on him how are the Titans in the AFC South when they're in California? Dude, this guy's weird. Who's your, why are you, who's your, you're weird, bro. That's why you got blocked because you say stupid shit like that. What are you doing? Quit being weird, bro. Now, if you're 12, I forgive you. But, like, that's weird. You you know damn where, where the hell the Titans play at. Quit saying they play in California, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Makes no sense. Titan Kong says, uh, Jared Goff, if he's the uh, Lions quarterback against us next year, four picks and two picks, six. Dude, I'm telling you, Jared Goff is terrible, bro. That is crazy. Apartment says, someone said you don't even go to the live games. Well, someone told me that you've never watched my channel before. Otherwise, you would already know. <laughs> That's crazy. Tighten up, man. Tighten up. And we're going to the, uh, the, the game this year against the Chargers. It's got to be a kid. Even King Bomber. King Bomber's a troll, but... I mean, I, th I think it, it gets to a point to where it's like you, you hear someone arguing and, and, and you're reading what they're saying and you're like, this this person is either like eight years old. This person's either eight years old or just, like I said, fell on his head running around the pool, literally. California Titans. Wow. What up, Alan? How you doing, bro? Yes, sir. I love it, man. Uh, AFIO says, TA, honest opinion, who do you think will, uh, will be targeted? Uh, what? Who you think will be targeted, not catches or touchdowns, targeted more, Ridley or, uh, or Hopkins? Uh, Ridley, for sure. No doubt in my mind. Um, Ridley will get 100 catches this year. Um, he's going to be used a lot like, like how Brian Callahan said, a lot like Jamar Chase-ish, like, um, similar, but different, um, He's going to be used on in every way, everywhere, all over the field, every way possible. Uh, you're going to really enjoy it. So expect Calvin Ridley to be, you know, one of the better receivers in the whole NFL this year. I've already, I've already stamped that. I've already stamped that. If you want to go get someone in fantasy, you might want to go get him. I'm just going to let you know because he's going to get the ball everywhere. 
on on end arounds, on screens, on 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 in the flat, on on it, everywhere. Go route slant hooks. Every, it doesn't matter what it post. He's gonna get every single thing. Appreciate everybody, man. Hopefully you guys, if you guys are here for the first time, put it in the comment section below. Let us know. Titan Kong says, who wins? Eagles or Lions? Spam your answers. To be honest, I don't even care. Who cares? Fuck both those teams. Who gives a shit? We still got a little bit over 10 minutes to go. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you guys do. Hit that channel Discord. Hit that Discord as well. And then we also have the channel ship. The members are back. Here's the link. If you guys want to join the channel members, there it is. He says Rams are going to win in the West. I mean, I guess we'll see, right? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Shout out to all the people who have donated already, man. First day back, and it already says we hit 2397. That's what's up, bro. That is what's up. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be back and have the membership still up and floating around, man. That's great. I love it, bro. Yeah, we got 10 more minutes, you guys. Get get your comments in here, man. Let me know how, how you guys are feeling. Are you guys excited? You guys ready? We're one day closer to the NFL draft, one day closer to doing what we do best. Let's go win some football games and compete for championship. Let's go get some Super Bowls. Let's go win one Super Bowl with this team. Will Levis is him, baby. We got our quarterback. Titanium Chris says, TA, do you think we're done with the free agency signing or one, one or two more to come? One more at least. One more at least, bro. One more at least is coming. Anthony says, Titans win three games. Yeah, right. This dude has a bus pass. I promise you he has a bus pass. Anthony Vigil? Vigil? Virg Virgil? Virgil? Yeah, you, you, you have a bus pass, bro. I can guarantee you. You have a bus pass, for sure. You're one of those guys. Titan Kong says, Is Jared Goff going to throw 300 yards and three tutties on the Eagles D, or is Saquon Barkley going to run for 20 yards and score a, a goal line touchdown in a low-scoring affair? To be honest, who cares? Who cares? Both those teams, bro. Who gives a shit? We worried about the Tennessee Titans over here. We worried about what we got to worry about. Winning that AFC South. Winning that AFC South and seeing what's next. That's what we do. That's what we got to do. I love it. And, and again, Justin Simmons. How would you guys feel if Justin Simmons... It just seems like it makes perfect sense. Go bring him over. If you guys are cool with Justin Simmons coming to the Tennessee Titans as that safety to play with a money hooker, write Justin Simmons in the chat. You guys let me know. Justin Simmons. I fucking missed his N in his name, but you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, man, this is crazy. Justin Simmons is a Tennessee Titan. Ten more minutes, fellas. Ten more minutes. Let's get it going, y'all. Let's get it going, you guys. Appreciate everybody, you guys. I appreciate everybody. Uh, Titan Who says, no faith in our defense this year, huh? Y'all funny as fuck. We're going to be top five or ten. I, I have faith in our defense. I don't know. Maybe nobody else. I don't know. Who thinks our defense is going to be top ten? Put top ten or uh in the, in the in the chat. Put where you think our put it in the chat where you think the defense is gonna be ranked. I think we're gonna have a top ten defense. I really feel like that. I really feel like top ten is is reasonable. It's realistic. A lot of people want Simmons. A lot I know, dude. Me too, bro. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna answer that question. T triangle times. Fuck no. This is crazy. A lot of people showing some love. A lot of people showing some love. Who's your man? He keeps putting you on timeout because you're acting like a tomato can. Quit asking stupid questions. Uh, Michael M. is right. Denard Wilson had the number one defense two years in a row. I'm telling you, this defense is going to be top ten. No reason it shouldn't be. No reason it shouldn't be. Blake says, two offensive linemen, a defensive lineman in, the, in a draft, linebacker and safety in free agency. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, put them on, put them on another one. Put, hey, just put them on one for the final, for the rest of it. We got, we got seven and a half, six and a half minutes left for, until we hit the two hour mark, so we'll be all right. He says, you don't even live in Nashville. You live in Memphis. I don't know who you're talking to. I don't live in Tennessee if you're talking about me. 
I know that kid's crazy, huh, man? He's crazy. He is out there, bro. Uh, Titan Kong says, both, both Simmons. It'll be Simmons family on defense. Jeff, Justin, Isaiah. Edgar says, you think Aaron Donald will come out of retirement and play for Pittsburgh? Nah. He's done, bro. He, he's, he's just going to... He's just going to chill and enjoy his time. You know what I mean? I think I think that's the best way to go. That's the best way to go is just let them do what they do best. Hey, get your final questions in. Final five minutes, you guys. Final five minutes. Get your final questions in, you guys. Get your comments in. Like, comment, subscribe. Get it all in, fellas. Get it all in. Remember, the memberships is back. I'm going to post the membership link one more time. One more time, if you guys would like to join us, man. Join us on this journey, fellas. This is crazy. What an insane show tonight, man. We've had over 100 the whole freaking show, basically. That's crazy. You guys showed out, man. You guys showed out, man. We got a pretty good amount of nice donations. Appreciate it. Come here, buddy. Yeah, let's, let's talk Titans football. Yeah, Titans football. Titans. Titans football. <laughs> Titans football. This is my, oh, careful. Yes, sir, man. Everybody, how we doing, y'all? How we doing, y'all? Yeah, tighten up. Let's go. I can't wait. Tennessee Titans. Are, hey, are we going to the Super Bowl? Are we going to go to the Super Bowl? Woo! I love it, man. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. This is our time, fellas. This is our time to shine. This is our time to shine. Let's finish out the free agency. Let's finish out, the, get into the draft, finish that up. And let's do work, y'all. Let's do work. TA, ask him who are we going to draft again. All right, who are we going to draft? Hey, ready? Ready? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Marvin Harrison Jr. Malik Neighbor. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Marvin Harrison Jr. No. Joe Alt. Joe Alt? I don't know. I'm not... Number one? No, we can't... You're going to get Marvin Harrison Jr.? What do you think? Huh? Arr, 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 arr. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right, go, Mama. Love you, buddy. Baby TA in the building, bro. I love it, man. I love it. I appreciate you guys, man. We're, we're, we're winding down, man. We're winding down. We're just, we're just hanging out for a little bit, you guys. I appreciate it again. Axel, no. Yeah, Axel, man. That's, that's, that's my little man. I love it, man. Oh, man, what an exciting show, man. What an exciting show today, fellas. Did you guys enjoy today's show? I appreciate all the donations, man. I appreciate it. The Super Chat is back. Let's go, fellas. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. What a show, man. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let's check the poll, you guys. Let's check the poll. 360 votes. How good will the Titans defense be? Number one, overall, 22%. Top five, 21%. Just in the top 10, but not in the top 5, 24%. And then from 11 to 20, 34%. So a lot of people think they're going to be a top 20 defense. Um, somewhere between 11 and 20. <laughs> we'll see how that works out, won't we? He says, where's Lil T.A.? Lil T.A.'s, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably reading. Reading, Dad? <laughs> I'm reading? Um, so yeah, man, get your final questions in, fellas. Get your final questions in. We're gonna close out. We got th we got three more minutes to hang out, you guys. We got three more minutes to hang out. Who do you guys want to draft? What's your next jersey you getting? Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you guys feel like. Like again, we have Cash App, Money Sign, Titan Anderson. We have Super Chat. Get those in if you want to get those in. Send a message if you do go the Cash App route, and uh, it's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun season. It really is. I can't. I can't wait to see how how this team. I just can't wait to see how this team looks going into uh, week one. I can't wait to see who's going to be the starters of every position going into week one. And then I also want to know, who are we playing week one? Who's going to get their ass whooped week one? Who gets to be 
who gets to be the punching bag week one that the Titans go Rocky fucking Balboa against? You guys tell me. You guys tell me because I'm telling you, bro, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what this team does. I'm excited, bro. Let's go. Hey, even if you're not a Titans fan, I hopefully that this channel brings you guys some type of, you know, excitement, some joy. You know, whether you like me, whether you like my team, I, you know, there's people who, who seem to just still enjoy the content, which is, which is awesome. I, I, I always tell people, you know, nothing, no sport brings people together like football for the good, bad, and the ugly. It's just doesn't happen. So um, it's pretty crazy. Alan H Hollowell says, do you believe Joe Alt is a little overhyped that we should uh, be happy with some of the other tackles too? I just think right now, Malik Neighbors, Marvin Harrison Jr., I would still take Joe Alt or trade back. Uh, one of those three or trade back. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be one of those one of those quarterbacks still there at seven, and there's going to be one of those teams behind us that wants to move up and get whoever that guy, that straggler, if you will, is. So I'm expecting that to happen. So, hey, you guys, two-hour show complete. Bam, the blue arrow just hit you, man. Let's go. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get those uh, final comments. Hurry up and get it in. Let's get your uh, your emoji spamming. Let's go. Appreciate everybody everybody again, man, for being here. Uh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Three months, three months of waiting for this to come back on, and we are back, man. We are back back it's crazy man it's crazy we got to cut it off with 111 people watching still uh make sure you guys subscribe man make sure you guys subscribe i'll post the link one more time for uh for the for the membership and again remember you guys i love y'all i appreciate you guys football's back and the tennessee titans are a problem legerious sneed welcome to two-tone blue we can't wait to see what you do tighten up code blue cyclops swag you can't spell titans without putting that t a in it everybody go comment and subscribe bro what are we doing here let's get fourteen thousand five hundred. let's go wow